We're going to start this video by looking at sunlight. Ultraviolet radiation are invisible rays of light that come from the sun, and there are three types, UVA rays, UVB rays, and UVC rays. These rays are measured in wavelengths. UVA rays are the longest, UVB rays in the middle, and UVC rays have the shortest wavelengths. UVC rays have the most energy of the three, but they are absorbed by the atmosphere, primarily the ozone layer, and they do not reach the surface of the Earth. UVB rays have more energy than UVA rays, and some UVB rays are absorbed by the atmosphere, but some do reach the surface of the Earth. UVA rays have the least amount of energy, and most of them do reach the surface of the Earth. UVB rays are often called burning rays, and UVA rays are often called tanning rays. However, UVA rays can cause skin burns. The shorter, more energetic UVB rays do not penetrate beyond the epidermis or outer superficial layer of the skin, but they promote skin cancer and skin aging. UVA rays penetrate not only the epidermis, but the dermis or second, deeper layer of the skin. Overexposure to UVA rays contributes to skin aging and wrinkling, and there is growing evidence that they can enhance skin cancer. Now let's look at how the skin tans and burns. The skin is made up of two layers, the outer layer, called the epidermis, and the deeper layer, the dermis. The dermis is comprised of connective tissue and the epidermis is made up mainly of cells called keratinocytes. Scattered among the many keratinocytes are cells called melanocytes, which produce the pigment melanin in reaction to exposure to ultraviolet light. Melanin gets transferred to keratinocytes and surrounds the nucleus to protect DNA from mutating from ultraviolet radiation. This action results in a darkening of the skin color or tanning of the skin. Sunburns are completely different than suntans. Basically, suntans are actually a protective response by the body, essentially to protect DNA, and sunburns are cellular damage from the ultraviolet rays. The redness of skin is blood capillaries vasodilating or enlarging, increasing blood flow to the area and providing an immune response. A few days later, you may be able to visually see the skin peel away from the damage caused. Now let's look at sunscreens and SPFs. SPF stands for Sun Protection Factor, and it is a measurement of how well a sunscreen will protect the body from UVB rays. The measurement works like this. Let's say Tammy here will normally start to sunburn in 15 minutes in the sun. A sunscreen with an SPF of 15 will increase that time period by a multiple of 15. So 15 minutes times SPF 15 equals 225. So theoretically, it will provide Tammy protection in the sun for 225 minutes, or 3 hours and 45 minutes. If Tammy used an SPF of 30, it would be 15 minutes, her normal burn time, times SPF 30, which equals 450 minutes, or 7 and a half hours. However, it is highly recommended by most sources to reapply any sunscreen at least every 2 hours. Another way to look at it is an SPF 15 sunscreen will block 93% of UVB rays, SPF 30, will block 97% of UVB rays, and an SPF of 50 will block 98% of UVB rays. So, SPF focuses on UVB rays, but what about UVA rays? There is no SPF-like rating for sunscreens that block UVA rays, and different substances are needed to block these types of rays. The term broad spectrum is used for sunscreens that block both UVA and UVB rays. So if you're choosing a sunscreen, look at the label and make sure it says broad spectrum protection or protection from both UVA and UVB rays. Now let's look at tanning beds. Tanning beds can have a combination of emitting both UVA and UVB rays with some beds emitting very little UVB rays. While the UVA rays aren't as harmful as the UVB rays, overexposure can still lead to skin cancer and it can also lead to photo aging or premature skin aging. As mentioned earlier, UVA rays penetrate deeper into the skin, into the dermis, and can damage the collagen fibers in this connective tissue, increasing wrinkles and sags in the skin. Now for sunless tanners. Sunless tanners have the advantage that they give the skin a darker color without having the skin exposed to the powerful UV rays. The main ingredient in these tanners is dihydroxyacetone, or DHA. This DHA reacts with amino acids or proteins in cells resulting in a darkened brownish skin color. The Food and Drug Administration has approved DHA for use on the skin, however it recommends not inhaling it 
and keeping it away from the lips, eyes, and nose. With this being said, there are some studies that show DHA exposure can cause damage to DNA. Temporary bronzers are another sunless tanning option, and they are like makeup. Once applied, they can be washed off. Of all the tanning methods, these seem to have the least harmful effects to the skin. And that would be the basics on sunlight, suntans, and sunscreens.